Welcome, everybody, to the Grace Grella Show. Hi, I am Grace Grella, your intuitive host. And as always, we're here because it's all about you, getting you into the positive zone, put a little pep in your step, get you that information you need in your life, whether it's about uh, your love life, your finances, your family, your friends, uh, whatever it is that you need to, uh, information you need to have to put your mind at ease. You know, it's the holiday time. We don't want people stressing out. We want you relaxed. We want you to look forward to the brand new year that's right around the corner. I can't believe it. Time goes by so fast. Um, and as always, we have special people in the studio, and especially tonight, I have a very drop-dead gorgeous blonde bombshell guest tonight, uh, Tracy Williams. Tracy, thank you so much for coming here today. Uh -huh. Thank you for All having me. All the way from me. Florida. <laughs> I'm so excited. And um, where in Florida are you, honey? Fort Myers. Fort Myers. Well, everywhere is beautiful it's in Florida. It's the golf section. Golf section. Yeah. Yeah. Hurricane Charlie. Ah, oh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, those hurricanes, yeah. The answer, my friend, is blown in the wind. I've mm -hmm. lived in Florida myself a number of years, so I understand that. But I'm really excited because your book, Blinded by Vision, The Secret Life of a Psychic, da -da -da -da, is um, ready for everybody to buy and read. And um, what uh, inspired you um, to, to write this book, hon? I think there's very little people know about psychics. You know, there's a lot of um, things that aren't true. We have a bad rep. You know, they think we're, we make stuff up or we're charlatans or things like that. So I wanted to become like an advocate for psychics and just show that we're real people first and what it's like to get a premonition. So many people, they're like, so many people read the book and they're like, oh my God, that's happened to me. And I'm like, that's a premonition. That's what it feels like. You know, and so many people have premonitions and have foresight and it's nothing unusual. It's a gift from God. Some oh, people absolutely. have it more than that others. A non-refundable gift. A non-refundable gift. I've been trying to give it back yes. for a lot of years. It's not going to But um, I'm so happy, A, that um, you're here with us uh, this evening. B, that you're um, this fabulous Taurus who's <laughs> always uh, giving to others. I love Taurians because they always put people on the right path. And you're always nurturing people. You know, um, I think Cancerians, both Cancerians and, and Tauruses, have a tendency to make people feel like family, like they're at home. And what a blessing that is from above with love. When I read somebody, I, if it's a young girl and she wants to get married, I give her the advice as if it was my daughter and what I want from her. If I read somebody my age, I read them like they're my best friend and I want to make them happy. And if I read somebody older, I read them like they're my mother and my father. Right. And this way they get all the love that I would give my family. Yeah, so. and um, your energy is all about love, all right? And so you're just as beautiful on the inside as you are on the outside, <laughs> my dear. And um, I want everybody to know that um, in order to contact you, they can um, uh, you know, just look at uh, the credits of the show, but also uh, your website is what, hun? Tracy, T-R-A-C-Y, vision.tv. Oh, perfect. So they can... Uh, Tracy Vision, get it? Uh, I love it. <laughs> I see you, okay. like Avatar. Okay. And um, so this is something that is really going to in, um, enlighten people so that they can understand that it's not, woo, you know, like airy-fairy, and it's um, uh, down to earth. Uh, you're, a, you're an earth sign, so you bring it down to earth and make them realize that they have the same abilities that you do, right? Uh, it, well, I have a little bit more, but <laughs> okay. but it gives every example like uh, that you can f tell us how we get started. Most of us start from birth, you know, simple things like um, you know where the angels say it one way, and we as humans say it different. Like I talk about a customer that I had named Sandy, and I, I was reading her, and her boyfriend had just broken up with her, and I said, Sandy, your name is going to be all over the place in the newspapers, on TV, everywhere. And she's like, What could I possibly do to get all over the news and TV? Then Hurricane Sandy hit. Sandy Hook Elementary, boom, everywhere. That's what it was. So, you know, the angels are saying, your name is going to be everywhere. They didn't say that it was because of her. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So. Well, yeah, and I, I, I feel that a lot of times with interpretation with uh, the information that does flow through when we channel and, and give people the 411, um, you know, you have to qualify it as well. Exactly. You know, and you have to say, well, let's see how this pans out because they're not giving me the details. However, th this is how they're saying it. So yeah. let's, you know, let's, you know, there, uh, just a touch of humility. Um, mm -hmm. And I know you have more than everybody else. <laughs> okay. The Taurus thing. <laughs> mine, mine, more, more. Okay. Um, but uh, it's, it's all about uh, 
giving the information and, and not trying to, because of ego, trying to make it fit or, you can't you know, make it fit. Yeah. or not fit. It's just you have to give just it, say it, you know, exactly. deliver it, yeah. you know, it's delivering that. And I'm so happy that tonight we have such beautiful people in the audience. K -K -K Katie, thank you for coming. And you're a lovable believer. That's, that's correct, right? Yeah. Yeah. And do you have a question for this beautiful Taurus woman that I have sitting here? Uh, well, what inspired you to write your book? Because people would always say to me, um, if they'd come for a reading, some people would say, um, I don't think my God would allow it, or I think my religion's against it. And I would think, this is a gift from God. I can't imagine what their religion is if that's an awkward thing for them. Mm -hmm. And I would say, you know what, let me just give you a reading, and if you decide that I'm offending you in any way, don't pay me or just leave. And every time I started giving them a reading, they just loved it. And it was just a matter of information. Once they tried it and knew what it was about, the fear went away. And um, I just wanted everybody to be comfortable. And my book talks about quirky things that I've done. You know, you can be psychic and still make mistakes. So it makes everybody feel more comfortable. She's human, just like you, <laughs> K -K -K Katie. And now, how about yourself, doll face? I know you got a burning question. You hunk a hunk of burning love over there <clears throat> about your love life, right? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, um, well, what stands for me in the future? Uh, well, that you know, the future's a long time for you. Okay. You're a very young lady. Well, okay. I was going to say you're disappointed at Christmas for some reason. Whatever you want, you're not going to get, but you get it right after Christmas. So just so you know, it's coming after. Okay. Let us see that. Now, have you been seeing somebody, like dating somebody, for about a year? Um, mm, not not really. It's yeah, I think in sometimes. January you're going to meet somebody new. Dark hair. I get dark hair. So. Okay, but um, who, who's, this, who's this fellow that you've been seeing for like about a year? What? Off and on? Who's the fellow that you've been seeing for about a year off and on? Uh, well, this kid from the school. Okay. Yeah. Are you guys just more friends? Yeah, at yeah, the that's moment. What I'm getting. What's his first name? <laughs> um, Nate. Nate's a little nerdy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that he even notices girls yet. I yeah. Think. Yeah. It's so true. <laughs> you might have to, uh, you know, walk out in a bikini and be like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, I think yeah. he really is a good friend, and I think that, um, you know, that's the way strong relationships that last start out, so it's a, a great foundation for you. And I have to agree with Tracy. I think somebody new is going to be uh, coming into your life in January. That's good. All right. So talk about a great way to start the new year. Okay, so that's fabulous. And uh, do you love animals, honey? Yeah, I do. Did you ever think about uh, maybe uh, becoming a veterinarian or working with animals? Well, I was thinking um, to become like something like a doctor or like a nurse or like a psychologist. Okay, well, veterinarians are doctors. Yeah. Okay. okay. And um, I, I really feel that the, uh, that's going to be some. What, how old are you? 17? Uh, 16. All right. So you're still. Um, yeah, very. Um, you're still very young, right? But I feel that uh, when you get into your early 20s, you're going to um, decide to uh, go the veterinarian route. I really do. Now, I get the number four around you for family. Are you one of four? Yeah. Yeah? And um, they're also showing me something to do with uh, Connecticut. Are you supposed to go to Connecticut with your family um, at all in the next couple of weeks? Um, well, my mom wanted to go for family. Like, because I have family in Connecticut. Oh, you have family in Connecticut. <gasps> what a quirky thing. Okay. <laughs> so, um, all right. So I think that this is going to be a lovely trip for you. All right. And, um, and I think there's somebody that you're going to meet while you're in Connecticut as well. So you got a lot of good things to look forward to there, uh, uh, lovable Libra, K -K -K Katie girl. And I actually think when you're 21, that's when Nate is going to be the guy for you. <laughs> so stay friends with him as long as I you will. can. Yeah. Um, also, I was wondering, like, if I could, like, talk to my dad, because he, like, passed away, like, a couple months ago. What's your dad's first name? Bill or William. He's very proud of you. He's really glad that you're not sad anymore, you know, because you were so sad, and now you're, like, living your life for him, and you want him to see how successful you are, and that's making him happy. Yeah, but why are you frustrated? You didn't really get to have the conversation with him that you really wanted to. Oh. Um, well, I, I mean, I did because it was like a slow process, but like, I mean, 
Yeah, but you thought of I some things of... afterwards. Okay? Yeah. And to the point where either you wrote him a letter. Yeah, I wrote it. We wrote letters to each Thank other. Thank you. And I'm getting chills. And he Aww. says, um, as I write this letter, send my love to you. Remember that I'll always be in love with you. Yeah. It, okay. That's so accurate. <laughs> That's so accurate? Okay. So um, he's, he's letting you know that um, he's with you all the time. He's like your guardian angel. And um, not to worry. Okay? Not to worry. Um, I want proud. you to uh, also know that he's... Uh, says that when you do get married, he'll be walking you down that aisle, honey. All right? So, um, and he said he co he's going to come to you in your dreams. He has before. Yeah. And he will still, because he, he wants to be the man of your dreams. And he's got a good sense of humor still, <laughs> you know? And he used to love it when you would laugh, you know? <laughs> and, yeah, I know, sweetheart. And, um... Uh, so this is going to be, um, he said, uh, have a holly jolly Christmas, he's, he's singing to you. And um, he said, uh, did you just watch the, the polar movie Polar Express? Didn't we watch together? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And he says he's the guy on top of the train, <laughs> you know? He's got the invisibility cloak now, he said. All right, uh, but it doesn't mean that um, he his his love. You can feel when he's around you. You're very sensitive, and so um, embrace that and know that um, it's 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 really going to be a fabulous year for you up and coming. And he's always with you, sweetheart. Okay, Katie. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome so much. God bless you, honey. Thank you. And I think we got somebody hanging. At, uh, so I got to put my glasses on for this one. Uh, Pam is on the phone. Pam, can we help you? Hello. Hello. Hey, Pam. How are you, hon? This is Carmen. Oh, Carmen, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to shoot my stage manager, Sabina. <laughs> she gave me the wrong name. All right, Carmen, when's your birthday, honey? January 1-9. Uh, 1-9, Capricorn. What? What? Okay, we're loving you already. Okay, babe, um, what was your question? Um, I would like to know, do I have like an angel or somebody that protects me? Oh, yeah. Really do you want me to answer that? Yeah, sure. Okay. I get a female angel around you, and she's somebody who's passed, and she protects you to the point of if you're in danger or if you're going to go somewhere that you're going to get hurt, she'll make you not be able to leave the house and stay home. So you are incredibly protected, and your angel has dark hair, and um, she's an older lady, so she'll protect you no matter where you go. But yes, everybody has angels, you're right. Usually oh, three. Yeah, absolutely. Usually at least three. So. And uh, Carmen, uh, was there something to do with? Um, is your mother a uh, past, honey? Yeah. Yeah. And you know that your mom's your guardian angel, right? I didn't know. Okay. Well, I'm telling you. <laughs> now you know. Okay. <laughs> um, and I want to say, um, was this 